stocks tumbled early, but the markets made a comeback before the closing bell today. This as investors bite their nails while mulling over how the Russian invasion of Ukraine will affect their portfolios. Ground Force Philippe Jagal talked with a financial advisor who recommends people take a level-headed approach to the volatility. One thing that's impossible for anyone to do is to time the market. That's the wrong approach to liquid assets like stocks. Better to position yourself ahead of time with an awareness of where things are. Invest in uh, indexes and companies that you expect to outperform over the long term. And then take an average price point on a month-to-month -month basis. William Houston Jr. is the CEO and founder of Bay Street Capital Holdings along the peninsula, an investment firm focusing on building portfolios that reduce volatility. Volatility. The S&P over the last 40 years is up, you know, 9 to 10% on average. So instead of attempting to catch, you know, wild, wild, uh, you know, market swings on the up or downside, better to say, I'm going to make 10% a year. I'm going to take a, 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 a diversified portfolio approach to this. William says banks, utilities, and insurance companies all typically perform well when interest rates increase and adds the crisis in Ukraine likely won't have a long-term impact on Bay Area investors. Ukraine as a country is not in a lot of indexes. So although it's an unfortunate situation from a stock market performance standpoint, especially for U.S. investors that tend to have a lot of U.S.-based equities in their portfolio. Uh, it's not something that's going to lead to a large correction over the long term. As for cryptocurrencies, he says be cautious. A 4 or 5% allocation to something like that would be okay. You know, you don't want to take a significantly larger bet than that because if you're not watching it every day, it's not your profession, it's not your career, you're, you're effectively investing in something that you don't understand. And now is not the time to complicate matters. Philippe Jagal, Cron 4 News.